Hello again, I'm Joe Berry and I work for Visuality Systems. In this video, I will introduce you to Wireshark, a utility that allows you to see the SMB data traffic, that is, the actual data packets that flow between a client and a server. We will use this tool in future videos to examine what physically happens when you log into an SMB server, as well as seeing how SMB sends and receives data. The first thing you need to do, of course, is to download and install Wireshark. You can find Wireshark on the internet at the address shown on this slide. The link also appears in the comment section of this video. Let's look at how this process actually works. Okay, so here we are at the Wireshark website. We're going to download the installation program. We'll choose the default Windows installer, 64-bit. And now that the installation program has downloaded, we'll click on the icon and start the program running. Let's minimize the Wireshark browser so we can see better our installation process. We want a desktop icon, so let's select that. We want to install the NPCAP program. This is very important. We do not need to install USB PCAP unless you plan on also capturing USB packets. We do not need to select anything here. And now we see that the Wireshark icon has been created. We hit our last next and finish, and we see that Wireshark has been successfully installed. So now let's run Wireshark. We'll do that by double clicking on the icon. Bear in mind that on some systems you will need administrator privileges to be able to run Wireshark. At the bottom of the screen here, you will see the various interfaces that Wireshark has found. The little squiggly lines that you see on the right indicate that Wireshark has already found traffic on those lines. Now, Ethernet 3 on my system is my interface via my router to my ISP. Whereas, Internet 3, for example, is my interface via VPN to my office. If you don't know which interface to monitor, you can hold the control key down and click on multiple interfaces. So we're going to click on the VPN connection so that I can monitor that. And we're going to connect to a share that I have in the office. And there is my share. There's a file that is on the share. This is the share itself. Let's minimize this file explorer window so we can see the capturing via Wireshark. And you see all the packets that are being captured. Let's stop the capturing so that we can analyze a little bit better what is happening within Wireshark. And we do that by pressing the red button. So let's examine the Wireshark output. You see it is divided into three portions. The top portion lists the various packets that Wireshark actually found. Whereas if you click on one of the packets, the center portion will give you detailed information about that packet. The bottom portion gives you a simple hexadecimal dump of that same packet. Now, if you look above here, you'll see a little window where it says apply a display filter. Filtering data is very important as the amount of data that flows through the interface can be somewhat overwhelming. We will use the display filter throughout the rest of our demo to focus on SMB specific traffic. So let's enter the filter that we want to use. SMB or SMB2, enter. SMB means I want to filter and only see SMB dialect one data. SMB2 means I want to also see SMB dialect two and SMB dialect three data. So now let's scroll back up and look at the first set of packets that represented our connection to our server that you saw previously. If we click on Negotiate Protocol Request, this is our request to the server. Now, let's look at the details. We see there are a number of layers that make up the packet. Ethernet, IP, 
TCP, NetBIOS, and then of course our SMB data. If we expand this, we see that there is an SMB header and there's the specific information about that specific command, the negotiate protocol request. In this request, we are going to tell the server which dialects we can handle. In particular, we can handle five different dialects. Let's scroll down and see what they are. Here are our five dialects. We send that information to the server. The server then will respond and tell us which of those dialects it wants to use. And the answer is right over here. It wants to use 302. And that is the dialect that will be used for the remainder of the session between the client and the server. If we look further, we will see that the next set of packets are session setup packets. Here, we define which type of authentication protocol to use, NTLM. We also define the user and the session key that will be used between the client and the server. Once we are connected to the server, we then want to connect to our specific share. So that starts off by using the tree connect request command. This and other commands will be discussed in a future session. As you can see, Wireshark is not only a great tool for learning about SMB, and for that matter, other network protocols as well, it is also indispensable for debugging SMB problems. In future videos, we will continue our adventure into SMB. Thank you for watching. Thank you.